Hello guys, nice to meet you. Baik ya, ini salam dari YouTube channel. Yeah, you know, for a long time I didn't make video anything about lesson. So now it's time for me to realize short story. The short story is The Little Mitch Girl by Hans Christian Andersen. Okay, the short story is telling about little cool girl who is going through a difficult life. Of course, you know this short story. And now let's go to the analysis. Okay, let's start with the plot. The plot analysis is the first exposition. The exposition of the story that when introduced the character of the story that a little girl who encases Mitch to survive. She is lonely, sad, hungry, also a really cool girl. She walks alone through the street while offering her matches to people with barefoot in the middle of terrible cold when snow down at the last opening of the year. Usually, the exposition always begins in uh, always in the first paragraph because it is uh, introducing the character of the story. And then the second is uh, rising action. The rising action is time when she sits in the corner of two houses with real hungry and cooler so cool. Then she burns the mage that inside the light of the fire there is a wonderful light which seems sh she sits in the front of the large iron stove. It warms her very very hard and then suddenly the burn match went out and she only remains that burn out match in her hand and then she wraps another against in the wall it burns brightly and like fell on the wall there she looks beauty delicious food on the table and the goose that delicious food is the goose the goose hops down and comes in the little girl when she will grab it Unfortunately, the match went out. The only there just the cool dim wall was left behind. Okay, and then after exposition, that there is climax. The climax is when the she starts likes another match. That there in the light that she likes sit under the Christmas tree by thousands of light burn on the green branches. Like the Christmas tree rose higher and higher, then she sees like stars in heaven. Then one fell down. When the star fall, she remembers what her what her grandmother said to her that when a star falls, a soul ascend to God. Her grandmother, you know, her grandmother was the only person who loved her, who loved her very much, and no one do more. Uh, even though her uh, parents, yes, her grandmother who loved her so much. And then after that, she drew, she drew another match against the wall. It illustrated illustrate her grandmother stands there. So she looks so bright and radiant also with the expression of love. Okay, so the climax of the story that uh, she, she meets a... Uh, her grandmother in the like of age and then after climax that there is the noun man yeah the denouement of the story that uh, it knows in time then she wraps a whole bundle of mesh and let it burn against the wall she really wants to keep closer to her grandmother then the grandmother carries her on her arm uh, she wants to always together with her grandmother so she ordered her grandmother to to carry her uh, because she always won closer with her grandmother and then the grandmother carries her on her arm and both fly in the brightness and joy so high and then above is neither nor nor hunger on nor satiety they are with god and then the last plot the last part of plot that is resolution the resolution is when people find the little body seats in the corner of two houses that time is after the cold hour of dawn she sits with rosy cheeks and smiling mood leaning against wall the, the frozen to death on the last evening of the old year no one had the slightest suspicion of what beautiful thing she had seen 
then she and grandmother enter the joys of the new year and she will never feel darkness anymore in her life because she's that kid of course in the story that there is a conflict the key the conflict of this story that is uh you can see here that is man versus nature yeah why is it that because it can see from the girl burn up the matches and it makes beautiful like we draw a life also she meets with her grandmother like that and then the i think the conflict that has two factors that first is internal and external the internal conflict that when she feels cold hungry and lonely in the street and then the external that herself versus society after the conflict that there is a point of view okay the point of view of this little match girl is third person omniscient why i think so because anderson tells the story by using the name and make it into a third word pronoun and the other side that he knows all about the story uh, he seems like a god who creates the the servant so he very understand from the each character till the setting also the feeling little girl okay and then the character analysis i think the character of this uh sorry that there are three characters that first it's unnamed little girl why i say unnamed little girl because the authors that uh didn't tell the name of the girl okay the little girl that is my character with her condition or are young young poor sick, patient poor neglected patient and lonely that you know from the uh, you can see from the exposition how the andreas the author that tells about the girl and then after that the secondary is uh grandmother is the minor character who has love passion joy her little girl her full and lovingly it knows from the male character told her yeah like the little girl say that when her grandmother is one and only person who love her so much and then last is father the father is the minor character too as same as the grandmother because that she just only a side character so she don't have she he doesn't have a much uh much dialogue in this in this story and the the father that has trail rude cruel and indifferent i think that also the character and then next that is setting yeah in setting that uh in the time place uh i'm sorry that the setting of time is the new year years f and then cold hour of dawn and the last evening of the old year and then the set and also snow that is when the night of snow like that in the story and then the second that setting of place that is in the corner of two houses inside the house and the under of Christmas tea, Christmas tree, yeah. Next, that is symbolism. Other than that symbolism, that I know the symbol of the story is match sticks. Why I say that? Because it makes changing into the little girl's life. That when before, uh, I think that be when before burning the match, she only, she has only a little girl with loneliness, coolness, and hunger there. But after doing the burning, that she never feels it again because she's died. And next is there is theme. Here I make three themes, which is relatable with the story. The first is the bitter life of little girl to survive, and then second the magic magic sticks with which change the little girl's life. And the sadness of the little girl who is going through the difficult life. Yeah, I think that very readable themes for the story. And then different with the universal themes that 
with the themes. It, it, here I will tell the universal themes that what is sorrow, struggle, loneliness, longing or hope, and then darkness and yeah, lonely. She is a lonely girl. Okay. Other the elements of story. Here I will explain the figurative language in this story. Of course, I think that uh, in story or other process that there is a figurative language to colors in story. Okay, here are a found for kind of figurative languages. The first is metaphor, like in sentence, little maiden walk on her with her tiny naked feet. Here, naked feet means that uh, feet that didn't use a slipper, so it means that bare feet. And then second, that the light fell on on the fell on the wall. Failure means that she little girl's big match against the wall. And then the third is the goose hooked down from the dish. Yeah, hooked down from the dish. Here, hooked down has a meaning falling or going down goose from the table. And then last is the likes of the Christmas tree rose higher and higher. Means that the tree rose higher and higher means a shining and shining brighter so by uh, the christmas the christmas tree that shining brighter like that and then beside metaphor there is similar in the similar that i found uh where the wall become transparent like a veil and then you finish like the warm stove and then it was a warm bright flame like a candy i think it is similar because there is word like in the sentence that which is uh with uh, one of similar characteristic and the last that i found she saw them now as stars in heaven as here as same as life that which uh, the uh, characteristic of similar and then next there is hyperbole you know hyperbole yeah uh, in the sentence that i found for uh, hyperbole that is thousand of likes were burning on the green branch branches that the hyperbole is thousand of likes means of thousand of likes that actually many likes like that but he, the author that used hyperbole to and make a word thousand of likes and then next that there is leaning against the wall frozen to that on the last evening on of the old year means that frozen to that that uh Frozen means that cool. So, uh, she died. The girl, the little girl died with condition cool. Her body is cool. And then the last figurative language is the last figurative language that there is personification. The first that two carriages that fold by that fully fast. You know personification. Yeah, this is a verb which is used by a noun like that. Actually, this verb is for human, but it is used by uh noun okay like the role the word role means drive drive is for of a human verb for human and then the next that there is the small flame went out uh went out means that go so uh it is called personification because go just for uh humans and then the last that through through which the wind whistle whistle here describes a uh, whistle here describe the sound of the wind by using human's verb okay that's all for the figurative language and then next that message of this uh, uh, story I think that the short story is only a very tall story but it is uh, but it also can be discovered in the real life uh, maybe not for the match which make an illustration of other person of or condition from the from the story of this little match girl uh, that the little girl teach us how to struggle to survive not always to depend to other people but must be strong to face her, the reality Anderson tell the story completely 
from the characters to the condition of them and then from the character from the story that's i got also got really valuable lessons that how to respect each other and then aware of my social environment okay like that um i think that uh the way of Anderson makes the story with put many figurative languages it makes me interest to read because of there are many color of the word sentence that in the in the story uh, I feel interest I feel interested to read the this story and then yeah just that all for my analyzing short story okay now we arrived to the list of video thank you very much for listening and then i hope you can enjoy this video analysis and hope it's very useful for you once more thank you very much and see you in the next video thank you